I well, it's a it's a rodent v ver rodent world out here. Kamix finds a way to, to Mr. Allen bracket, and we're ready for Sonic Pikachu. What insight do you have for us as we start things off on PS2? Oh man, we're in this because <laughs> I love Pikachu. All right, well let's talk about like, it because because it's kind of cute. This uh, I, I was Pikachu. talking about Smash, but you, that's a nice read right there. A lot of people it, do, do tend to air dodge right there. And we see zero SDI, by the way. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll keep an eye on that as back air is sure to be a tool that Mr. consistently makes good use of. Finally finding the first hit here, but it's going to mean anything for Kamix. Yeah. Kamix did win the last time they played. Uh, I'm not sure if it was 2-0 or 2-1, but I do know he does have the victory. Now, now this week, upsetting... Mr. Suarez, the one seed, who's now out the bracket, by the way. Can you guys take a quick check? Yeah, definitely recommend checking out the bracket for tonight's Encore yeah. because this has been a uh, this has been a hell of a performance from all ends. Yeah, it's called the death bracket for a reason. You truly cannot be sleeping on any part of New York, top to bottom. Right now, Mr. L's showing you you can't sleep on one of the better seats in this bracket. I feel like... He's gotten so consistent with performing the off-stage play that if you're able to execute just fine against Sonic, this is a player you have to be afraid of. Yeah. Uh, well, I also feel like Sonic's kind of linear in his, like, recovery. If you know how to deal with homing attacks, then after that, it becomes super easy in fighting this character. Or, like, off-stage. On-stage, you got to deal with spin that. Okay, near out of shield. You don't get much off that. that you have to get a read afterward. Okay, missing his combo from DIL wasn't Ooh. able to convert off that two bit of rage. Well, that T-Jolt saved his life. Yeah, no, that was really important. I actually really like the way that L uses T-Jolt. Like, Thunder Jolt just as a way to mix up how he wants to advance aggressively. He doesn't typically use it to camp, I've found. It's more of just a reliable way of pressuring the opponents while moving inwards. The wait. Yo, he, he knew! in his head. Someone got the Charles memes. <laughs> Yo, Cass, where you at? <laughs> oh, no gun there. Would have been cool. I'm not going to lie. Would have been cool. Oh, missing the drop back. Got dragged into it. But that's the first stock. 88%. Nothing to scoff at. So, anything. Like, a few more neutral interactions. You can close it out. No, yeah, I want to see Kamix try and play out this defensive game really hard. You're going to just take advantage of all that speed. Get in your licks when you can because anytime Mr. L jumps into the air, if he's not hitting you with that button, that's a button that you can punish out for. Yeah. And then just run away to save thing. Yeah. So I think Sonic, it's really hard for Sonic to win while down because now he has to play as his opponent plays, but then he just gets strings like these. And 97%, it's, he's kind of getting beat up. I'm actually really impressed with how quickly Kamex brought back the uh, damage deficit. Every Sonic, every Sonic does one. That's how you know he's a good Sonic. <laughs> All, only the good Sonics have seen. The bad ones don't. With homing attack. Or no, with anything, actually. <laughs> I've seen them air dodge off stage. They, they try to end it. They think this is, they think this is a Sonic Adventure Battle 2 speedrun. Just trying to go out of bounds. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> hero any percent. <laughs> I, I watched the recent marathon. <laughs> this ain't no final rush. <laughs> no, it's not, Faker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, this is virtually even now. Yeah, no, when it was 88% between the, the stocks, it was yeah. looking a bit more grim for Kamex. Yeah. And he still brought it back. Yeah, 35%? Yo. It, that, even game. That's, a, that's a burrito. <laughs> Always a fan of Trixie movement with Sonic. Got him bobbing and weaving in between Pikachu and the Thunder Jolts. This girl's got to find a way to lock down the Sonic. Otherwise, I feel like it's just going to be another open invitation for Kamis to bring all that damage back. Yeah. That felt like that too. Oh! Stunning. You don't jump there. Off the very top two, it's 77? Yeah. Kind of got out of place. Oh. 
Comex looked at looked at us like, yo, he's kind of free. Oh, <laughs> shook his head like, yeah, definitely free. <laughs> it's, it's our job to do the shit talking. <laughs> you gotta hold up for your own. I'm doing the shit talking for him. <laughs> he's breathing up his hair. He's like, yo, give me more, Mr. L. Free bracket. <laughs> All right, now we're starting. We're starting with the run back. So Mr. O kind of died early twice. Both one stock one, and then once the last stock. Both to the spring ride, I believe that's. Oh, yeah, where, rides? where you're getting the uh, yeah. it's the down B right into up B into up air. And that's just avoidable by like quick air dodge. Mr. O tried pressing a button and like challenging it, and you just don't challenge it in that situation. Now, figuring out where L can get more aggressive, I think, is really important here because Kamex is the one who's making better defensive calls, and I don't really see how L can slow down Sonic and Pikachu's tools. The well-spaced Thunder Jolts are getting the job done, but that's for, like, every one in five T-Jolts spent. Okay. Oh, now going for the lock. Just trying to get the tech chase right there, but didn't cover the tech end. Ooh, I don't know about that quick attack. It really wasn't bringing you anywhere. Ooh, the second one. That was risky, but worth it. Make a double, man. <gasps> now or else you're in trouble. All right. Kamex chilling with the lead now. We've seen how effectively Kamex can fight from behind. What can the Sonic do while he's pressing advantage? And he's got a stock to play around with. Show me what that Sonic does. And 81. Ooh. He's showing. Yeah, I'm about to say, US, he delivered. Yep, okay. Yeah, Pikachu's hurt box extends, but it's not that big. Post mesh, not going to find its mark because of that. L's got the reversal. He's even up the stock count, Yeah, but, but this Pika is hurt. Yeah, 96%. He's definitely bleeping red right now. You know, Ash better return that shit right now. <laughs> But we Drop the full restore. I know yeah. you bought 50 of them before this tournament. You gotta use one of them. Uh, this light ball. Better put it in work. Get a, better get a few crits. <laughs> this now got the light ball in the hat where you can't see it. Ooh, okay. Solid enough retreat. Yeah. He's trying to make... Oh, I'm kind of trying to play a big game. No. Now keeping a really strong defensive play at center stage, I think oh. it's super important. That little bit of the dip in the side, he hit the ledge before hopping back was yeah. so good. So I don't even know if that was a mistake or he did on purpose, but it, it worked out. Oh no, yeah, no, this regardless of what brought the situation ahead, it was perfect. We are stalling out here with Skull Bash, but we're gonna eat one spring for it. Thankfully it is just one spring. Okay, still living. I'm gonna be real with you, I don't even know what hit. It dash attack. Was it dash attack? I feel oh, like dash attack would have killed. Oh no. Come on, man. I'm glad Sonic doesn't have to kill throw like that. <laughs> yeah, after tilt doesn't. Yeah, but that's a nearly like 200 and something percent. I was able to make that stock last. Yeah. It's like a uh, twinkle bar. They just did forever. Oh yeah. <laughs> Radiation? I don't know. <laughs> nah. We eat it, that. <laughs> Oh! Finds the missed tech and just goes for a dash attack. It's not gonna kill though. Still living. Alright. All smash. We can still live in. I would just want to close this out. I feel like in these kind of high tension situations, the Stroud would often go for the defender. And the fact that he hasn't and he's just been committing to just running around, keep the empty hops, a little bit of fishing. Really good on him. Things just solid mark of a player, not just all oh. But now he's got to worry about fighting off the back heel on the percentage bout. Return to the stage, at least is a good start. Right, not if we're rolling into the down bait here. Kind of got scared. Right. Loops. Get those loops going. Yo, zero. <laughs> so we've got lightning out here. Oh, I hope that would have been a sick conversion if you got that, but it dropped. Oh! oh. 
just want to point out that these quick attacks by the ledge, where L is like canceling it out and just moving a smidgen by the ledge, really risky, but like such good control of the character. Okay, caught him right there. Ooh! Just barely misspacing up B, not able to find the attack because of it. I feel like Kamek's now struggling to have much of an input here. He's able to stay evasive. He's able to keep Mr. L chasing him, but not finding that really important mark. But is he going to... He's just barely missing it out, too. Oh, okay. S smash right there. Good catch with Thunder. Just using the bolt. Another weak up smash just to keep the damage in tow. Not that bad of a deficit. Now, and good to from Mr. Yeah, L. He's going to fall out. You don't... No up air this time. All right. This is such a good situation for L, and he's gonna find his dash attack because of it. He brings this into a game three. Yeah. yeah I'm scared, man. Oh, that was a lot of situ situations here. But L managed to close it out. So I feel like that game itself was Kamex's to lose. Yeah. At multiple points, he had a pretty confident lead, was able to rack up the damage just fine, but struggling to get that kill towards the end, it gave Mr. L the opportunity to recompose himself and press forward. I'm kind of worried for Kamex as we move, uh, move onwards, because now, even set count, even uh, even playing fields. So, Trent, whoever takes the first talk has lost the game. Man, I hate when that happens. <laughs> And like no, that, no, that game was like less than a minute thirty when it ended. So these guys definitely like took their time like putting down that neutral. Well, these are two characters that really have that privilege. They have the speed to dictate the match. So yeah. if they want to get aggressive, they'll get aggressive. If they want to play passive, they can get passive. And Smash kind of passive game. <laughs> it ultimate definitely favors the characters that are more outfitted like this where because they have the speed and because they have the tools to make back those deficits, they can, they can chill. They don't have to constantly press forward. They can if they want to. They don't have to. Certain characters in this game, they have no choice but to press forward and to press onward. These two characters in particular, though, they do have that opportunity to sort of wait around. Kamek taking uh, advantage of overwhelming speed, Mr. L being able to take advantage of his own speed, but Quick Attack and Thunder Jolt doing more to elicit the action from the opponent's half. I feel bad for those characters out going forward. It sucks to play Bowser Jr. Okay, tech chase? Okay. Some, some people just lose out on the character selection. Game. That's how it goes. 81 characters in the game. Can't be a winner all the time. Talking about yeah. winners right now, Mr. L starting out this game three very confidently, and no. I feel like that's because of the more uh, passive play here. Yeah, will the trend continue? Only one way to find out, man. Yeah. 20% only taken, and an additional 19 as Kamex is str struggling back on this uh, deficit. You can't die. It's a good start for Al, especially because he does get to fool around off stage as necessary. Yo, someone, someone connected. No, that's low battery. I, I think that's Mr. L, and I hope for his sake that doesn't come into play. <laughs> is it true that with low battery, the frequency messes up? Uh, no. Okay. And that's more of a virtue of the fact that that's one of the few positives of the fact that the uh, Pro Controller runs off the Universal uh, Bluetooth. Alright, like it's not gonna lose its connection off of a weak battery like that. Back throw. Oh! He's calling out all these quick attacks. And the back air yeah. finds its mark, evens the stock count, but now we're kind of looking at a bit of a role reversal here from, uh, from game two. Alright, he jolted the neutral because he tried to skate him off. Okay, I like that air dodge plot. Avoid the situation not landing on top of him. Just take your time. Cool down. Manta. 
You know, it's funny, at the beginning of the, the set, I was saying how uh, L, while perfectly capable of that passive play, isn't especially known for it. This is a set that's really showcasing that he can flex as a player. He is able to dip into that. He's, he's saying he could do it all. When it comes to the mouse, yes, sir. Yo, Mickey, you got competition. Oh. No, you do. Oh, my God. All right, Kami's got something to say about that, though. I'm not, I'm not allowed to be out here praising the other players. Yeah, he ain't a fan of the mouse. This is the Sonic Power Hour. GDQ never ended. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon speedrun right after. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're about to see a Pokemon speedrun if he goes to him. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Black Tooth? <laughs> <laughs> or Emerald. Maybe a yellow, yellow, yellow version or an up smash oh, out with of the shield with the too? taunt. All right. I told him that. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Nobody needs to taunt to perform me. <laughs> Did everyone just wonder what the D-pad was doing on the controller that yeah. whole time? <laughs> and then I showed him. That's crazy. Reggie the revolutionary out here. Right, caught him with the bear. Yeah, but not able to find much else out of that. That's one thing that I find interesting with these characters now that L is consistently able to get out of the spin charge combos that Kamex has been showing us this set, is that while these are fairly combo-heavy characters, they haven't been able to get their combos off in this game three. It's been a lot of stray hits. Yeah. Other than, like, there's been a few selected times with the loops and, like, some of the strings Kamex yeah. has been doing, but there's been a lot of stray hits. And that just shows the, the good defensive play from the opponent. Yeah, I think that's just a mark of good play from both players because, like, they both had to do a decent amount of adaptation to keep their stocks alive. Because we've seen a couple of early stocks on both ends, and now we've got these stocks burned down to the nitty-gritty. Although on that front, I will say that I feel like Mr. L has been forced to adapt harder by Kamex because we've seen... Pikachu stocks last as long as 201% in this set, but we've also seen them end as early as 77. Yeah, that's 77. End hit. Well, how about that? It's a hedgehog's world and we're all just living in it.